get into it, get into it. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Woo! This is what the chicken is looking like now. Shh, you know what I mean? Like, that's when you know you really doing something. Like, hey y'all, it's your girl Dayla. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, babes. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Hey y'all, it's your girl Zayla. Y'all already know who I am. If you don't know who I am, nice meeting you. So as you guys can see by the title today, I'm gonna be doing a cooking with day, okay? Cause I haven't done a cooking video in a minute. I was like, all right, I'm finna cook some dinner. So let me go ahead and record it. I'm not even gonna talk too much. I'm just about to get straight into this cooking video because I'm hungry. And I don't want it to be too late and then I'm just not eating. Today on the menu, we are making curry chicken. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want, what sides I want. I think we're going to do like some mixed vegetables. And if I'm feeling it, we're going to do some rice. Um, but I am using potatoes in my curry. So, I don't know if we need all that, all those carbs. But we might get it. Like, we all right, work it off during the week okay let's get right into it i got everything so let me go ahead and run down the list of what we need for today's meal if you're making this meal with me or you decide to make this meal make sure y'all take some notes down you know remember what i'm saying because you gonna need to know anyway so we got some drumsticks some chicken drumsticks let me show y'all yep this company i don't really know this company too well but it's I think it's an organic company or whatever. I don't know. We got some chicken drumsticks. I got this. I don't even know how to say it rice. But I like this rice. It's like a white rice. But it's like. I don't know. I like it though. We got some potatoes. Because we will be using that in the curry. So some rusty potatoes. We got some mixed vegetables as a side. And we some in organic that's whole food um we got an onion y'all know what onions look like yep we got an onion we got a green pe green pepper we're gonna need that and then the seasonings um when it comes to like curry and stuff like that curry really is already a great seasoning by itself you might just need a little bit of stuff to you know make it a little saltier or whatever but i don't know but i got some curry powder okay so we got curry powder this camera's so slow we got some salt y'all know what salt looks like we got some ground pepper we got some seasonal we got onion powder and then we have california garlic do I know the difference between the garlics? No, but that's the garlic we have. So, right now, what we're getting ready to do, I'm going to first wash my hands before I, you know, start touching the food. And then we're going to start seasoning the chicken. Yeah, let me wash, let me wash my hands first because y'all will not call me dirty. Ate these paper towels. Who likes these? Not me. It's time to season this chicken. So we got the chicken. Usually y'all, I'm even gonna lie to y'all, I do not like chicken drumsticks like these big ones. The only drumsticks that I really would like eat is like the wingettes. But because sometimes them drumsticks be too big. Like be so for real. Y'all added something to them drumsticks. Them chickens is not that big at all never was that big never will be that big so i don't understand but yeah i'm gonna eat it with the they be throwing me off upstairs but yeah so we just going to rinse our chicken wash that off you know get it nice and clean before we start seasoning it and then yeah
mix it, y'all. When y'all in the kitchen, don't be. <gasps> I hope this don't mess up my white nails. It might. And at this point, the damage is already done. But don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, when you in the kitchen. So we finna. Ooh, these looking so good. Finna just mix it, get all that seasoning, all that curry from the side. <laughs> so this is what it's looking like. <coughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more curry, just a little bit. I'm gonna let the chicken sit for a little bit and kind of marinate a little bit as much as it can. As much as it can. If you want it to be like real marinated, you can do this the night before. Or you can marinate it for 30 minutes or an hour, whatever. I feel like this joint stained my nails. We're going to set the chicken aside. It should be fine. Just wash my hands a couple more times and it should be out. But yeah, so now we're going to let the chicken just sit, marinate, you know, get that seasoning in there. And while we're doing that, we're going to cut up the green peppers and the onions. So we got our cutting board. We got our nice little knife. I love this knife. This, if you got one of these knives, use it while you cutting, dicing stuff up. It's just lovely, loverly. So I'm gonna start off with the green pepper and then I'm gonna hit the onion up, okay? Um, I like green peppers in my curry, so. Yeah, how do I want them in my curry? I usually um, kind of like keep it. I just slice it, I don't dice it. <laughs> I slice it, I don't dice it. Perp. Okay, anyways. So you're just gonna slice this up. And when I say slice this, what I mean? Just keeping it like this. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. I don't mean I like to get it poppin' But these bitches in my penis call me out to choose and buy me So now that we sliced up that um green pepper it's time to do the same thing with the onion I love sauteed onions and everything Grilled onions, sauteed onions Like it's just Cause if you don't like sauteed onions like Step your um Taste bud palette up babe Because it's really good um, but yeah, I'm gonna do like half of the onion for that because I like more onions than green peppers anyway. If you see me out in public, you don't know me, keep it silent. In the bedroom, I'll be screaming, but outside, I keep it quiet. You know, I'm scared, I'm gonna always go to the lowest. But see if you can keep it, and nobody knows. I need to get the fuck on my space. Okay. Let's let's not even do that because I don't even cry when I cut onions. Let's not even play for YouTube, please. Please. And so all we need to cut up is the potatoes. I'm probably gonna cut up like maybe two. I'm ready to rinse off all of these vegetables and the potatoes. Um, is potato a vegetable? We ain't even finna get into that because they say tomatoes is a fruit. Babe, you're a veggie. You're a veggie. Right now, hold on, let me show y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Yup. While it's getting brown, we're gonna do the same thing 
rinse the potatoes off really quickly and then we're going to add that into the pan with the other stuff. What it's looking like. So in a minute, we're going to put the chicken in so it can start browning and everything. And we're going to let the chicken brown like on both sides, get nice and brown, good color on it. Then after that, we're going to make the gravy in the same pot. Okay, y'all got all the chicken in the pan. This is what it's looking like right now. We're gonna let it brown on this side for a minute and then I'm gonna flip it over and let it do the same thing. In the meantime, let's make the rice. Okay, y'all, this is what the chicken is looking like now. And we got the rice. Uh, just I just turned it on so it can start boiling. Now we're going to add the potatoes, the onions, and the green peppers back into the pan with the chicken. And then we're going to make that gravy. <laughs> I don't have chicken broth, so I'm gonna just use water for the gravy. And then to the water, you just add some flour. This is gonna help it thicken up. The chicken. Also gonna add some more water, and then I'm gonna add some more curry, just so the gravy can give curry since I didn't add it in here. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. So once it like starts boiling and everything, the water will like thicken up and then we'll have our gravy. I made a good amount so that we can pour over the rice cause girl, mm, we love some curry gravy. The season, I'ma just put some more salt and pepper in there just so that, cause I know the water. Job rinse that off. Not really, but just to give it some flavor. And then pepper. Top over, and I'm gonna let that simmer for probably about like maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes. Um, and prob probably until this rice is done, I'm gonna check it. Um, shake it up make sure everything mixes okay so i'm gonna come back when this is like kind of been simmering for a little bit the rice almost done and i'm getting ready to put the vegetables on just took the rice off and this is how it's looking i took it off at the right amount of time because i almost forgot about it mm -hmm. oh y'all hear that Yup, so I'ma just let that keep doing what it's doing. Keep doing what you doing. Kept another video open to ten for you and your friends. You know how I spend it. Nico, you S E O N. I get too crazy. Had a little bad.
plated my food and everything. So this is what it's looking like. I just got a little bit of something. I'm gonna let y'all see it a little bit. We gotta get a nice bite. I just blew me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. to me. This is just my way of making curry chicken. I know it's so many different ways. Some people add coconut milk to their curry and do all different type of, types of things. But this is the way that I learned how to make curry for my dad. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all try this recipe out. If you haven't tried curry chicken like this or just want to try this curry, um, you know, anyways. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more cooking with me's, let cooking with D, let me know down in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all social medias at I'm gonna put it on the screen, Zayla Strader. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. I love you all. Mm -hmm.